happy Aloha Friday and welcome to Perspectives on Global Justice Think Tech Hawaii program. This is your host Beatrice Cantelmo. We are living under trying times politically with much divisions, fear and anger around this country and around the globe. Many people are feeling overwhelmed and depleted. How do we replenish ourselves, our hearts, hopes and dreams day after day in an environment like that? How do we live in and create a sustainable world where peace and love are common practices? To help bring additional context to today's show, I want to share a quick story that I heard from Pima Shodram, a Tibetan Buddhist nun, a few years ago. There's a story of a woman running away from tigers. She runs and runs and the tigers are getting closer and closer. When she comes to the edge of a cliff, she sees some vines there, so she climbs down and holds onto the vines. Looking down, she sees that there are tigers below, uh, uh, below her as well. And then she notices a mouse in an annoying way at the vine to which she's clinging. She also sees a beautiful little bunch of strawberries close to her, growing out of a clump of grass. She looks up and she looks down. She looks at the mouse and then she looks and takes the strawberry, puts it in her mouth and enjoys it thoroughly. Tigers above, tigers below. This is the actually the predicament that we are always in, in terms of our birth and death. Each moment is just what it is. It might be the only moment in our life, it might be the only strawberry we'll ever eat. We could get depressed about it, or we could finally appreciate it and delight in the preciousness of every single moment of our life. I want to welcome our guest, Tamara Barria. Her gentle spirit is like a cool and sway gentle breeze for many people's hearts and spirits. Tamara is the founder of Aloha Oahu Namaste, an organization that's solely devoted to teaching and promoting peace and love in many forms, started, starting with them. Tamara, welcome to Perspectives on Global Justice. Well, thank you so much. You're very welcome. So, um, to tell a little bit of uh, your background uh, to our viewers, you know, where do you come from, Tamara? Well, yeah, my, um, my country is uh, Chile. I born in Chile in a city that is uh, called Punta Arenas, uh, really close to the South Pole. Mean, I am a penguin. <laughs> <laughs> a penguin in Hawaii. <laughs> what a wonderful uh, change, you know, to have yeah. you as a lovely penguin in Hawaii. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so you were raised in Chile. Uh, yeah. And uh, then moved to Hawaii. And uh, what is your background uh, professionally? What have you been up to since you moved to Hawaii? Uh, well, I. Um, create this uh, project, the Aloha uh, Namaste.org. Um, and I start, uh, well, I am yoga instructor and Tai Chi senior student too. And I start to, I try to build a community close to my home in Nainakoa Park and another parks around the area. And uh, nothing happened that uh, keep me uh, um, growing in this aspect. And at that time, I think, was uh, um, time to do something. And I started to wear uh, different signs in my back, like this one that say, uh, peace and love is you. And uh, yeah, I started to take attention of the people, and people uh, come to me Starting and Starting to walk back, yes. And uh, was a different aspect that mm -hmm. started to uh, awake, mm -hmm. no? And from there, I jumped to the highway. And when I jumped to the highway, it was really beautiful. Beautiful, the response of the people. Beautiful, the support of the, communi the community. And I think at that time, I really realized how much can mean a little gesture in the middle of the day for every single normal, simple, Person. Mm -hmm. So wait a minute, when you said you started to go into the highway, describe that. What, what do you mean by going into the highway in the middle of the day? Well, I, uh, I um, locate different points to be with the sign 
Um, and the sign was first this one, but I noticed that was the letter was uh, no um, big enough to catch the attention mm -hmm. uh, of the, all the driver uh, people. And um, I started to paint at night, in afternoon, night, uh, different signs with different message, you know, for the people. And was every single thing inspiration. And uh, no mind, you can see these words everywhere, you know, in the book of the different masters, in sacred uh, books. Um, but was my inspiration to show uh, in the middle of the highway, in the size of the highway, and take the attention of the drivers. Yeah. yeah. And uh, so, how long ago did you start with uh, the seed of love and peace on the highway? Because <laughs> it started on the highway. I know yeah. it evolved, and we're going to talk about that. Well, I started in '72, like a year ago. But after I jump uh, to Pali in really cozy spot, the lookout that is uh, after Willie Street and close to Honolulu. And was really uh, beautiful that uh, place because uh, it's surrounded by nature. And believe it or not, the exhaustion of the cars, you feel it you know, with the time. Mm -hmm. And uh, plus if you constantly are saying aloha, or good morning, or have a good day, different kind of uh, phrases, you notice some kind of uh, thing in your throat, no? And this place, uh, this is why I keep with the, with the lookout in Pali, because it's around the nature, and it's a really gentle and beautiful. Mm. Yeah. Well, so many times I think we are stranded in traffic and frustrated because we're late and it's a jam, and I mean, Hawaii is such a beautiful place, uh, that we don't even allow ourselves uh, that permission to appreciate our surroundings. So I imagine that having you, this goddess of peace, <laughs> popping out from the highway yeah. with you know, love and, and, and peace signs and, and beautiful paintings, which I hope we can show um, at the second part of the program. And it can be really something that startles people but it puts a smile on their face and so I know you've been teaching yoga for quite a few years and that you're very in tune with this dance of life and, and, and you know being in tune with uh, the balances and imbalances of life as well and I wanted to ask you um, in today's world, with so many people coming to your classes, you know, to find the, the elixir, you know, for their own energy and, and balance, you know, what are you seeing in your practices? And what are you seeing when you're connecting with people at um, the highways, you know, the, the walks, the marches? Because we've been having many in the last five months. Uh, well, I think the most important is um, that's a matter what you practice. Yoga is too special for me, uh, for too many people. Um, I really feel <clears throat> like it's not about um, equipment to do yoga. It's about really to start to feel and to be more connected, to start to know more your body, how work your body. and takes to sin uh, out of your body. Mm -hmm. That I think is the um, the meaning of yoga, integration, no unity mm -hmm. in your mm -hmm. in your body, in your mind, in your mm -hmm. spirit. But this one required practice, no? But any practice that you do, I think in some moment put you in the present moment. And when you are in the present moment you are content. Is our man who always uh, play between past and future, fear and anxiety, um, gain and lost, and is always in this duality. But I really um, believe that um, peace and love is the essence of uh, all human beings. So how do we foster peace and love within to begin with? Because it all starts with within. 
in times of dualities that we live in because life is really uh, this discovering phase of you know fear and not living in fear um, anxiety angst and being more at ease and you know how, how do we get that you know how how would you advise someone who is like petrified you know with uh, let's say uh, the fear which for a lot of people is very real of uh, a government that may impact you know they're very like basic rights to exist for example healthcare you know reforms are on its way if it's best it will impact a lot of people or loss of income as a result of federal funding cuts for the state very basic mundane things about that directly translates into heightened people's fears it, what would you tell someone uh, that you encounter they would say I'm really scared Tamara I don't know what to do with the message of love and peace well I think the first question is uh, really uh, I think every every single one of fear and uh, is part of what one of them uh, driving um, energies uh, the fear and the desire, that is the two currents that drive the behavior of the human. The thing is how the system manage this current, is how the people go from one way or another one, right? Uh, definitely the, any person who suffers is because believe what is happening uh, and not necessarily is the reality. Mm -hmm. Uh, I um, bumped a few times some people that they were crying, you know, for different reasons. And uh, I talk with them. I make space for them. I hug them. Mm -hmm. And I think that is the way that the people uh, release the fear and feel safe again, you know. And when you feel safe again, you can have another point of view, another perspective. Mm -hmm. It's the moment of fear that they have to go through. Could be in a, in a place uh, of safety or uh, with somebody that can um, contain. Mm -hmm. And from there, I think it's more easy to uh, see with another perspective no? mm -hmm. now related to the uh, thing that is happening now no all this um, all this cutting um, rights that takes too long for people uh, get it right uh, well I think um, it's important for people uh, wake up and be part of the uh, of the system of the community. I think what happened now is a reflection of our own could be commodity, could be um, the thing is to um, put in hands uh, things that we have to take responsibility because we are we have responsibility in this society mm -hmm. We have responsibility with another human beings. We have responsibility with Mother Earth We have responsibility with all the animals. Mm -hmm. We have responsibility to be in this plane of existence with every single thing that is uh, surround us mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and if we don't care if we are indifferent to what happened, uh, yeah, things will be more and more, I think, um, complicated or complex, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. for the human being. So, um, you know, like the song that comes to mind as you speaking is that love is in need of love, not only today, but uh, uh, moving forward. So we're going to take a quick break. And then we're going to jump right in with the theme of love in need of more love um, and that peace. Sounds perfect. <laughs> <laughs> The 
This guy looked familiar. He calls himself the Ultra Fan, but that doesn't explain all this. Why? Why? He planned this party, planned the snacks, he even planned to coordinate colored shirts, but he didn't plan to have a good time. Go! Go! Now you wouldn't do this in your own house, so don't do it in your team's house. Know your limits and plan ahead so that everyone can have a good time. Welcome back to Perspectives on Global Justice, a Think Tech Hawaii program. This is your host Beatrice Cantamo and I am back with the Tamara Barria. So Tamara, we uh, were talking about love, being in love, in need of love, not only in today's world uh, but also within ourselves and um, the importance that it is for us to be in tune with our own feelings, noticing what we're noticing. But also noticing that part of this imbalance and the fear and the anxiety that we are living may be a result of uh, uh, this lack of uh, um, uh, synergy. So how do we uh, touch base with um, Aloha and Namaste Foundation to bring us back to that place of balance? Well, I think um, Aloha Namaste uh, uh, come to the world now um, because Aloha, of course, the breathing, the primordial force that uh, permeates every single thing, the prana or the mana that is called. Um, and Namaste, uh, I see the divine in you. I recognize as divine you. No. And I think it's important to have these perspectives in life uh, in these times um, because uh, we are really, um, we are sharing a plane of existence uh, for a, a moment, no? Mm -hmm. A moment that we call life. Uh, we don't know the rest. No, it's hard to know. Um, and why we don't share uh, with kind, why we don't share uh, with love, why we don't share with more um, patience and with more tolerance. Mm -hmm. But we have to reflect in ourselves first. And Aloha mas Namaste uh, basically come to the world to show like a little simple gesture can change your entire world, your entire day, your entire moment. You can be afflicted for something, but if you see love is always present, mm -hmm. you will change because it's a it's a really um, uh, it's a really a simple gesture that can give you uh, the open heart for the rest of the day. Absolutely. Yeah. I, since I was very young, I've always liked to smile. And I've noticed that, you know, I always make that intention of looking to people's eyes and with a smile, especially when they're looking down or, you know, like sad, you know, very serious. And I would say, you know, more often than not, uh, Sometimes the persons may not even be able to smile with their uh, lips, but I see a change in their eyes. Sometimes just that simple recognition that I see you, you know, that small, you know, very primal connection can really, you know, leave a, a positive effect in someone's life for that day because we don't know what they're going through. Well, definitely, definitely, uh, we don't know. Every single person have different journey. Mm -hmm. And uh, for me, uh, the experience of Bali was incredible because I recognize every single 
person that was passing by as me. Mm -hmm. And I didn't have this opportunity when, uh, in another uh, times. And it was beautiful to see in different way, with different struggle, mm -hmm. uh, with a smile, with love. Uh, the kids are incredible. Um, I, I really, um, they are in my heart. Uh, all the people that are in my heart, but the kids uh, really cracked me. <laughs> so, <laughs> because they are so spontaneous. Yes. And it's so, uh, it's so beautiful, the smile, the little hands. Uh, yeah, the little hands um, waving, waving back, you know, mm -hmm. every single day. Uh, it's almost a year uh, that I started the project and almost eight months on Bali Highway. So in some of the pictures that we've shown, uh, you know, I've seen you have been also in different gatherings. So do you mind telling me a little bit about what these gatherings are all about and uh, how do people receive Aloha? Namaste oh. on Oahu. <laughs> oh, they, they receive it in an incredible way, in a yeah. spectacular way. Um, uh, I have already a few uh, 11 ambassadors and probably will be 20 from to the end of the month. Um, they receive it in a great way. And I noticed at Pali that too many people uh, take a picture about the uh, sign. And for me, it's share. If you have the opportunity to share, share. So what does an ambassador of Aloha Namaste do? What, what? Do you, what, do you, what is your main uh, purpose as being an ambassador of you know, spreading the Aloha and the Namaste? I think the main, um, the main mission of Aloha Namaste is spread, uh, spread the loving energy. Mm -hmm. you know? That's a matter of expression. Every single one is different expression. Like I say, every single one is in different journey. And it's valid. Uh, you cannot compare uh, mm -hmm. one to another one. Mm -hmm. It's time to validate all the expression. And I think that is my point with the project, now validate all the expression of the loving energy. And knowing and uh, knowing that uh, the essence of every single human being and the essence of every sentient being, all the expression of life is made from love yes. and peace. Yes, absolutely. And uh, that uh, to not disrupt that, um, we need to honor it uh, and also be vulnerable to be able to recognize it when things are not quite in sync. I think one of the things I really like about yoga and about you know mindfulness practice is really that ability to notice what's happening in my body and in my mind at that present moment and, and stay with it, uh, knowing that sometimes it's very uncomfortable but it will pass. Uh, but I think it's very hard in today's society, uh, we're not giving permission, especially women, to be vulnerable or to have these spaces to be loved even in that place of vulnerability. Um, and so I'm seeing a lot of people hurting because um, they feel they have to hold it together and that they have to also give that strength to others, you know, to continue to move forward, uh, especially in the movement of uh, social justice and global justice. And, but we can't do that without recognizing our own humanness and without being able to reach out and saying, you know, I got a feeling this reservoir, it's not feeling good. And so I, I really appreciate, you know, this expansiveness that you have of being there uh, with those to come to you, whatever form and shape that they come, you know, whether they're jolly, curious, or scared, and to just have that moment, you know, of connection, that it's very special. Yeah. Uh, well, I think. Um yeah, yoga definitely uh, is a really an amazing practice to uh, unfold uh, in more gentle way your journey 
right? Uh, all these practice help you to unfold in more gentle way. And, uh, but we have to recognize that as a human, we contain every single thing. We contain jealous, we contain envy, we contain hate, we contain love, we contain generous, we contain uh, all the things. The thing is the levels. How, how you reduce the level of the lower energy to transform in the high energy, you know, mm -hmm. in unconditional love. You know? And I think this practice uh, definitely help you. Uh, you have to be uh, vulnerable. You, you know, I, I told people, you, know, you learn more with the struggle than with the good moment. Uh, in reality, we have to struggle. This is why it's the struggles in life, because we can learn. No, even though we cannot learn, uh, right? Uh, we appreciate the sun because the moon, the night, right? Uh, we have these things. Uh, but, of course, uh, we have to educate ourselves. We have to uh, train ourselves to don't react instead be more uh, gentle, uh, be more kind with ourselves. And when we start to do this one our, uh, to, our, to ourselves, we can do with the rest of the people. That know? is very true. I want to thank you, my sister, oh. for being here today. Oh, really and uh, I hope that this is uh, the first of many visits that you will make to our program and that we get on board with, uh, you know, what you're all about in the community for the upcoming months. Um, and I have to wrap up our program, unfortunately, but I want to leave you all with uh, this beautiful message of peace and love that starts within. Um, everything we're going through as we move forward in this, uh, you know, globalized society that we live in, you know, um, we cannot talk about sustainability and balance without love and peace. And it starts within, it starts with small actions and then big actions. So there is no rainbow without rain. And I think that that's a wonderful message to leave you with for the rest of the week. Happy Father's Day to those who are fathers around the globe. And uh, until next week, uh, we hope. <laughs>